Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the other day, somebody sent me this, a picture of this, and they wanted it interlocked. And then somebody actually sent me the, the vector file, but you couldn't interlock them precisely because if we control D and make a duplicate and rotate this, you can see the lines aren't equal. No matter which way you mirror it, they're not equal because whoever drew it they did a great job. I'm not doubting them and how they did it, but I drew this one in about 10 minutes or less. It's not exactly the same, but if we control D and make a duplicate and mirror it, it's exactly the same on top of each other. So how to draw this? Really pretty easy. It's just, and you make it your own. This is a little different than the one so I'm starting in the center of the page, and I've got two indexing lines. I've hit in P and put them in the center of the page. We're gonna draw a, and if this has no interest to you, you can stop watching, might learn a little bit. So I'm gonna hit P. I'm gonna go to contour. I'm gonna contour the inside one time. I'm gonna immediately go and break the contour apart, but I am going to group them together with Control G. Then I'm gonna make another ring. I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate, holding down the shift button so they grow inside of themselves. And I'm gonna put that one about right there. Now I need duplicates of both these rings. So I'm gonna control D and I'm gonna move them out of the way for a second. And just in case I mess up, I'll have a duplicate. I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate of this one. And I'm gonna put it, holding down the control button, I'm gonna put it to that quadrant. Maybe, well, I'm gonna go up to this quadrant, but I'm holding down the control button, so I'm in that quadrant. And I am going to, let me get this one out of the way for a second. I'm going to double click on it, and I'm gonna move the rotation to the center. A lot of times, Corel doesn't look like it's in the center, but it does. I'm gonna rotate this guy 60 degrees, okay? And I should have made a duplicate of it. Control D and make a duplicate and then rotate it 60 degrees. And looking back at my drawing, I really should have put another ring in there, but for the video, we're gonna leave it like this. Um, you know what, we'll go ahead and add another ring. I should have really started with the outer ring. I need some room in the center for doing something else. But let's just do it with these two rings. Now, we, we had a pentagon, six-sided, we're gonna hit P. We need to rotate that guy 30 degrees. So we have flat sides facing our circle. Now I'm gonna take a rectangle and I'm gonna make it a quarter of an inch wide by, I had my ratio lock, the length doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna put P and put it in the center of the page. And then holding down my control button, I'm gonna grab it like that. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna contour to the inside, go up to object and break contour apart. Now what we can do is take this exact same object, make a duplicate, control D and make a duplicate, but move our rotation to the center. Well, whenever you see anything move like that, don't forget to go back. Let's rotate this 60 degrees. So now we have two of these. And now what we need to do is just delete some of these inner lines. And for just a second, I'm gonna get the indexing lines out of the way. We can always put them back. I'm gonna get the virtual segment delete key and I'm gonna delete some of these lines that we do not need. Well, we needed that one. So what, what this is, is like a continuation of that one. So we need to do this, and there's probably, whoop, back minus front and weld, and, but by the time you figure out which one to use, and I don't think you could do all this, we need to just delete these inner parts on just some of this, and I'm gonna show you why. I mean, if you didn't, if you did the whole rings, you'd have to delete all these on all the surfaces to get a continuation of the rings. 
Whoop. You know, if you're ever like that, you just go backwards. Just got a few more to do. We'll go ahead and do these down here. I don't think we're actually going to need them. Because I'm going to show you a little trick how to uh, draw this without drawing too much stuff. Now let's just delete these extra lines. And I see one more I need to virtual segment delete key and delete that line. We're not going to need these overdone here overdone. So now let's bring in a two point line with our pick tool, grab it till we get the fourth pointer and have it go to the middle. And I'm making a more simpler one than the one I just made earlier for the video so it won't be so long. Control D and make a duplicate. Move your rotation of your line to the center. Double click, make sure it's there. A lot of times if you don't double click on the X, you get the shape tool. We're there. Let's rotate this 60 degrees. There's our, might be our shape. It looks quite a bit different than my other ones, but we're gonna go with this. Just see what happens. Now I'm gonna delete these lines we do not need on the outside of my 60 degree angle. And we just delete. Delete all these lines that we do not need. Now we need to take these lines away that we drew. I hope this is going to work. Now let's move our indexing guides back into the center. Let's group all this together, control G. Let's control D and make a duplicate of it. And let's move our rotation in the center. Doesn't look like it, let's check it again, and it is. Now let's rotate this 60 degrees. Control D, 120 degrees. Control D, control D, control D. And in that short of time, and I did not put double you know, everything, but what is so nice about this, and maybe I forgot one of the lines. Let's go back up here. Yes, I forgot to delete this line, and that's kind of a good because it kind of shows you how much time it's going to save you because you've deleted all these lines. Control-D and make a duplicate. Make your rotation that indexing line. Make sure it's there. Rotate it. 60 degrees, Control-D, 120 degrees. And then after you do it, you can just hit Control-D, Control-D, Control-D. There you have a, and I must have two, I do. If you use Krell long enough, I'd had two copies of duplicate. You can actually see the difference in the colors of the red. But there's a symmetrical, open, I'm not gonna say it's gonna leak, we'll test it, I'm gonna be in, Embarrassed if it leaks, and it does leak a little bit, but it could very easily be filled in and figure out where the leaks are. Anyway, so we know the leaks aren't in there. They're they're probably on my joints, um, right there. There's a leak. I didn't I didn't have my center rotation perfect or something, uh, or my or my circle wasn't centered perfectly when I started, but that's easily redone. But that can look like that in just a few more minutes with another arch and then this almost a backward swastika uh, angle is just done with, you know, another circles, another circle on the inside and when you come through here. Anyway, so sometimes it's easier to draw than trace. I'm real curious where that leak is. You can always do something like this. So the leak is on the outside, and that's how you can find leaks. Let's uh, expand that out a little bit, holding down the, whoop, it's a smart fill. Let's take our, holding down this shift key, you can grow that circle. So our leak is probably on the, 
could be on the inside. It's on the outside bow. It's somewhere in this joint. Somewhere. Wouldn't be very hard to fix. There's some, you know, there's some ends because we rotate it around 60 degrees. And if it wasn't perfect, you'd have to close these joints up. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.